Hi and welcome to Turrix Bench. Today on the bench, as you already see, is an old Stabo. Yeah, we call it Stabo. And uh, it is the XF4012, so that is a CB radio. And that is from mm, the 80s, I believe. This radio is out uh, of a radio, CB radio collection. And uh, yeah, the problem is, I mean, it is uh, receiving, so you may hear it in the background and you can see it here at uh, our S meter, but uh, I'm not able to switch it to AM. So it is permanently running on FM and there is no way to uh, get it uh, switched into AM and uh, well the collector um, want to have uh, it back in good working condition so let's see what's really going on here and uh, yeah therefore I believe the first what we need to do we have to crack it open the first what I recognized uh, was that uh, all the screws here are really loose so I really had uh, the impression right from the beginning that uh, somebody was in earlier and uh, yeah when uh, we really look here into the radio so the first what uh, you see here on uh, this uh, relay um, we are missing here the cover and uh, since uh, the switching between FM and AM is uh, done by a relay so hmm um, I'm pretty sure that uh, somebody already uh, tried to, to find the problem and uh, well I guess that is the point where we need to start off okay and uh, when we look here on our schematic we simply uh, see that uh, here our uh, FM AM uh, switch is uh, nothing but you know a voltage which uh, gets get uh, switched uh, to the uh, AM contact which uh, then should uh, go up here to uh, this uh, transistor here our Q29 and uh, will then switch our RL2 and uh, you see that uh, relay uh, will switch between FM and AM. So if this relay um, will not work, right, uh, you never will be able to switch the radio to AM. So yeah, let's start there um, because uh, the relay we see with the open um, housing uh, is called RL. 50 uh, is it 501 I believe yeah it is 501 uh, but you see we only have uh, RL1 and uh, RL2 uh, whereby RL1 is our uh, receive uh, transmitter uh, switch so that uh, relay uh, is working but uh, up to now I've not uh, really found our RL2 so um, let's go back uh, to the connector and let's see uh, what's going on down there. Okay, and uh, again down here we uh, see our AM our FM switch, and uh, then when when we look here into uh, the radio, we find here a wire which uh, is here <laughs> hanging in the air and. Uh, there uh, seems to be a drop of uh, hot glue here on the top so that uh, it uh, will not make any uh, shorts um, but uh, yeah this wire here is uh, coming up from you know our uh, AM FM uh, switch so hmm somebody seems uh, to have uh, disconnected it but um, other than that um, here our uh, relay is uh, called what is it is it uh, RL is it a 6 
or is it I can't really read it so I'm not sure if uh, that is a relay we are looking for so maybe uh, there is another um, relay, uh, relay uh, down on the board I mean over there that uh, is our uh, transmit uh, receive relay and uh, you see when uh, I'm uh, pressing here the PTT okay you you can uh, see it moving so that is uh, just fine um, so hmm, let's see what's uh, going on here with uh, our wire here and uh, where is RL2 well and according to our schematic we uh, have seen that uh, we have a RL1 and an RL2 and uh, we found our RL1 down here which uh, is um, finally our transmit receive switch and then uh, yeah we found uh, this little additional uh, PCB with a relay on it and it is called RL601 and uh, that is completely different to what we have seen in uh, our schematic so that means um, do we have really uh, the same board here as we have seen it uh, on our schematic and I doubt it very much so well uh, but we need uh, to uh, verify it and uh, therefore you very often find here on the board um, the board ID or maybe the chassis number or whatever you want to call it and this one is a PTBM 165A uh, what is it no X whatever and uh, you know what uh, we have seen on our schematic is not this additional little uh, PCB and therefore let's go back to our schematic where we looked at and uh, let's uh, compare what we have and uh, here's what we have and uh, you easily see that uh, this is here called RL2 which is not present here on uh, our um, XF4012 uh, and uh, well then uh, you find on schematics uh, always or uh, not always but most of the time you uh, find a board ID and uh, here it is can you see it uh, not really I believe there it is now you are able uh, to see it and our schematic is a PTBM 7174AOX and that is why uh, our schematic is different uh, to what we have here on the board and um, yeah I'm going to address this uh, is issue uh, once again because it uh, happens uh, very often so you think hey I have um, a schematic very nice uh, we can uh, fix a problem and then you realize that something is wrong and uh, indeed this is uh, something happening uh, very often so you really need uh, to take care onto um, the chassis number and in our case we have seen it on the board it is a PTBM 165 and uh, therefore we change to uh, a different um, to a different uh, schematic and uh, here it is so let me zoom in and now you see here we have our PTBM 165 and both are XF4012 uh, from uh, Stabo and uh, well now let's uh, have a look what we find here and uh, yeah you may already see the big difference so now we see here our little extra board which we found here in this radio and now we see here our logic that is the IC we have seen here on the little additional board and this little uh, logic is uh, going up here to um, our uh, channel switch here close to our PLL 
and uh, you know um, this um, um, logic is uh, taking here the binary code coming at least here from uh, our channel selector and uh, that is coding uh, the radio so that uh, you are only able to uh, receive and transmit from channel 4 up to 15. So this uh, 12 uh, channel were in the past the uh, finally uh, the allowed uh, channels for AM uh, operation. Um, I mean this is a 40 channel radio and uh, most uh, of the channels are obviously um, for FM and only these 12 channels are um, used for um, AM and uh, therefore this logic here is uh, simply uh, selecting the channels which are allowed to uh, operate on uh, AM, right? And uh, therefore uh, the technique here is uh, again uh, very easy. So we have here NAND uh, uh, logic so that is uh, finally uh, an AND not um, IC or uh, function and uh, you see we need finally a high here at uh, the output of uh, our uh, second uh, portion of uh, this IC and we need a high to the base of uh, our transistor and then uh, the transistor is uh, switched through to ground and uh, if we have here at um, uh, can you see it not really here and if we have a, a plus DC here at uh, the relay and our transistor switch to ground then of course uh, we are switching between AM and uh, FM so that is uh, the variant here and uh, again that is uh, from the time where um, the laws for uh, CB radio regulations only uh, give us uh, 12 channels for AM operation and the rest or altogether are free for FM as well. Okay and the next step will be we uh, check if uh, our logic is uh, working and uh, we can do that very easily so we know uh, that uh, our relay only works if we have uh, a positive uh, DC here at uh, our uh, base of the uh, what is it Q601 therefore let's uh, simply test here the voltage at uh, R605 to see uh, what the potential uh, is there while I'm switching the channels down there we have our 601 and uh, that will be the point where we go uh, to check. Okay, so I guess we uh, can see what we need to see. I now go down here to our R601 and uh, we are at uh, channel 1 and uh, as I already told you from uh, channel 4 up to channel 15 uh, we need approximately 5-6 volt to uh, engage uh, our relay and uh, therefore let me uh, simply move here ahead so you see 0 volt at R601 uh, on channel 2 the same channel 3 the same and now we should see a change channel 4 and yes now we have our needed uh, 6 uh, volt right and now when I go through here the channels you watch uh, the voltage up to channel 15 so we have always our 6 volt 14 15 and now when I switch uh, to channel 16 our 6 volt should drop to zero 
and yes it is doing exactly that and that is telling us that the logic itself is just fine well and simply uh, because we have already seen that uh, we are missing here our lid uh, on our relay I uh, decided uh, to take off here our little PCB to have a look uh, underneath and uh, yeah there it is and uh, yes you see um, somebody already uh, tried to figure out why um, this uh, circuit is not working and uh, you see that uh, we have here a little bridge which um, should not be there uh, I do not think uh, that uh, that is something um, given by a factory so um, maybe that uh, they uh, simply bridged um, you know uh, the contacts but uh, it is only one bridge and according uh, to our um, to our schematic we should have uh, two so that is a little bit uh, senseless so I think uh, I will um, I will uh, snip it out and uh, then uh, I can reconnect here uh, our, our wire which is here which is here uh, yeah in in the air and uh, we reconnect it uh, down here to I don't know to contact uh, 8 and you you see uh, there is uh, there are some residue from I think it is contact uh, spray or something like uh, that but anyways so here we have uh, our contact uh, 8 and according to our uh, schematic that is uh, where uh, our wire here has uh, to go to and then let's see if uh, our um, little circuit is uh, doing uh, something but I think something must be wrong because uh, otherwise um, yeah why would uh, somebody um, work here on the circuit if uh, everything is just fine I think uh, the guy who did it uh, finally was not uh, able to figure out what the problem is and therefore uh, he simply decided we disconnect AM so and that is um, yeah no wonder because um, AM is used very very uh, seldom here in Europe so um, normally we really use um, FM because uh, it is a much better um, quality so uh, the audio quality on uh, FM is much better and uh, therefore you know um, AM is not really preferred here in our area and therefore well it is not so much needed but as this radio is for a collection as I already told you or is coming from a collection um, we uh, want to get it back into yeah factory uh, condition I mean factory uh, condition on the technical side not uh, uh, subsequently on the cos cosmetic uh, side so um, the guy likes the patina which we have here on the old radio so that is not uh, what we uh, want to change but we want to have the fun function back um, yeah in a factory uh, condition okay and uh, I disconnected uh, the little uh, bridge which uh, was here underneath and uh, now I have uh, reconnected uh, here uh, our connector or our, uh, our switch better um, um, set our switch FM AM switch and uh, it is uh, here down uh, on the board connected to pin uh, 8 so normally if uh, everything uh, would be fine we should see um, 
that uh, the relay, relay uh, is switching. Okay, so we can uh, see here the relay and uh, the channel uh, switch is on uh, channel 12 where we know that uh, we uh, have from the logic here at uh, the R601 we uh, really have uh, our positive uh, DC and now when I switch to AM we should uh, see our relay working and yeah, let me switch yeah and uh, that is what uh, I really expected so um, the relay doesn't work and uh, now it is more or less uh, sure that uh, the guy who ever worked here on uh, this radio was uh, not really able to identify where our problem is and I mean the first uh, what we really can do is uh, we know that uh, we need here on uh, our on our wire we need uh, a positive uh, voltage to supply our relay with a positive uh, DC right and therefore um, yeah let me reposition the camera first so the first what we really can do is um, I disconnect here again here my alligator clip and uh, I use here my probe and go to this uh, wire and now when uh, I switch to AM we uh, should see on uh, our DC meter um, a positive voltage so let me switch and here we are so we have 15 volt here on our wire which uh, is definitely uh, the needed voltage to operate uh, our relay and uh, therefore obviously there must be a problem on here, um, here our little PCB so let's go ahead and let's see where the problem really is well and uh, there is really not much what uh, could be wrong now I mean um, yeah the little uh, transistor here could be um, defect but uh, yeah because you know they uh, already whoever it was uh, has taken off here the lid I believe that uh, maybe something is wrong with uh, the relay because that is uh, something you can see um, yeah if uh, it is working or not because it is switching you hear normally the click and uh, therefore I think something is definitely wrong here with the relay and therefore uh, it is very easy to do uh, simply the first uh, step we uh, turn it around and uh, I have here my DC vo um, power supply um, put to 13 uh, volt and uh, now when uh, I put uh, 13 volt here to our relay so directly to the relay uh, contacts right we should see if uh, the relay is working or not so therefore uh, here now I uh, have my voltage and uh, I di directly uh, connect it here to the relay uh, pins okay which are here yeah and that is uh, already obviously the problem so our relay is definitely not working I see that uh, there is a current of uh, 45 milliamp amps which uh, is uh, too less so again if I do it uh, that way so uh, that is a diode which is bridging here our relay and now let me go to ground and now it is it is uh, not working I can do it also this way here and you see no also I directly put uh, 13 volt here to our relay 
magnet if you like uh, you see nothing happens and uh, that is a very clear indication for that uh, our relay is uh, broken so next is uh, to pull here our relay off yeah I'm not sure if uh, I have something which uh, really fits here into it but uh, yeah let first uh, take it out and uh, then we can decide how to go ahead okay so our relay uh, is out and uh, yeah it is dead so uh, the coil here from uh, the magnet is uh, high resistance uh, so that means um, it uh, doesn't work any longer and uh, well I may have uh, a replacement one so um, this little SEL relay um, one point uh, is it is a 6 volt uh, relay so I need uh, to place uh, resistors in uh, front um, uh, that uh, is not a big deal but uh, other than that uh, it should work it uh, seems to be uh, pin compatible um, except here from of course uh, our uh, 6 volt uh, coil but uh, well anyways um, let me try to put uh, this relay in and uh, let's see if then we are able to operate our radio on AM okay and uh, the new, new relay uh, is in and uh, for the moment in time I'm only interested in the question if uh, the relay is uh, now switching so uh, I'm supplying it uh, externally from our power supply just uh, to see uh, if it works so let's uh, see and don't know if you can hear it I can clearly hear the clicking yeah definitely not sure if you can hear it but uh, I can tell you that is working fine and uh, now we can go ahead okay so next step is uh, to test if it is now really working on uh, AM so first of all it is uh, set to uh, FM and uh, we hear um, it is uh, receiving so that is nothing new and again we uh, see that uh, we are here on FM with uh, 2 kilohertz uh, deviation and uh, the tone here is the tone and now uh, let me switch it to uh, AM okay um, yeah here the the generator let me switch it to 30 uh, percent and you see now no receive it is a little bit in the background but uh, that is uh, no clear uh, signal and you see here our sign uh, is uh, dead um, now I switch the radio to uh, AM let me do it here and here you see it is a nice and clear AM uh, demodulation so that means uh, our relay is working it's again here uh, in our circuit so um, I, as I, I, as I told you I do it manually uh, by the power supply we have to uh, connect here finally our wire from the switch um, on the front panel but uh, once again switching now to AM and you directly here so relay is now engaged okay now I uh, release it and you see AM demodulation is gone and now it is back in so you see our relay is uh, pin uh, compatible to uh, what we had here in before but now uh, finally we need to reconnect here our wire from the front panel and then the radio should work on uh, AM like new okay so um, you see or you may see that our 
FM uh, lamp here uh, is on and um, still the generator is uh, sending with 30% uh, AM modulation now let me switch it to uh, AM and you see our FM lamp is off and our uh, 4012 is uh, receiving in uh, AM so the uh, demodulation is working back to uh, FM you see nothing and now here to AM wonderful it is working now when I go to channel 3 right um, and now when I switch to AM it doesn't work right and that is exactly how it should be right back to 4 you know only between 4 and 15 we uh, have uh, the AM circuit uh, working due to the logic we have seen and now switching to AM FM light is off once again on off and you see the radio is definitely receiving yeah and uh, here's our relay and uh, it is now uh, switching as uh, it should no problem and uh, even it is a 6 uh, volt relay so I do have down here uh, two resistors which are cutting down the incoming voltage uh, to our needed uh, 6 volt so no problem whatsoever and our radio is simply working and uh, therefore yeah what can I say uh, radio is fixed I mean that uh, was not a super complicated uh, fault but uh, yeah, maybe if uh, you lack uh, of knowledge how radios work uh, you see how it can uh, end up and uh, yeah now uh, it is working as it should so that is a factory condition from the technical side and uh, we are finally at the end of our video I uh, hope you get a little impression on how we worked in the past on this uh, old radios and uh, that was a nice example uh, for it it was also a nice example that uh, relays are always suspect so uh, you always need to consider them to be faulty after a long period of time and uh, yeah therefore let us uh, stop the video here uh, again I hope you learned something and uh, see you next time bye